A comic book collection estimated to be worth millions of dollars was stolen from the home of a Portland collector just days after his death. Now the FBI is working to recover the collectibles and return them to his estate. Fox 12's Drew Marine tells us more about the man who owned the collection and why its monetary value is only one piece of the puzzle. James Strand died over the summer in his Lentz area home just days from his 88th birthday. His niece and next of kin, Susie Hasty, was notified while she was out of state. It was shocking. It was just shocking. He, his 88th birthday was August 4th. So you just don't even know how to think about it. When she returned to Portland, she found his house had been ransacked. She says, as it turns out, thieves got away with a comic book and book collection she had never known about. The house had been broken into eight times. Every time the thieves went in, they would take more and more and more, and we kept boarding it up, boarding it up. Luckily, Hasty has had help from experts in the book selling business like Scott Brown. Honestly, without his help, I would have no idea. I would have no idea what he had what the value was, what what I should even be thinking about. Though many people didn't know Strand well, local booksellers like Brown are now learning more about him and his priceless collection. James Strand was one of the most uh, important horror book collectors, um, and he collected all the way back to the early 20th century. He collected a lot of original manuscripts, letters, uh, irreplaceable items, artwork. So those items, if they get lost, they're gone forever. Brown only knew the items were stolen because potential sellers repeatedly brought the valuable books into his shop with receipts linked to Strand. When he felt something wasn't right, he went to Adult Protective Services and eventually the FBI. Every single day, people would call and offer things that were obviously stolen from his collection. So there were lots and lots of books being offered to lots and lots of people. The FBI is now hoping to alert the community and other booksellers about the stolen collection, some items ranging in price from $500 to $6,000 a piece, and others being so valuable, a price cannot be placed on them. These comics were recovered by the FBI within the last week, and Brown has gotten a tip on the stolen books from Canada, too. Our best estimate is probably around a $2 million value, but it's likely that's going to go much higher, given the fact that we've been told by various collectors, both here locally and, and elsewhere, that his collection in value was actually exploding over these last couple of years. Hasty says not only has she learned more about horror books and her uncle, but the importance of staying connected with loved ones. My only regret now is not knowing him better, knowing him closer. Um, so the lesson that I've learned is don't hold back. Take the time, reach out to those that you may not reach out to very often. And just say hello, tell them that you love them. Drew Marine, Fox 12 Oregon.